Oh my god, waking up to seeing the Supra alongside the GTR. This thing is so, so beautiful. I still cannot get over that I have the new Supra. Oh, in person, if you guys have not seen one, it is such a good looking car. Look at all the curves in it. Wow. So today we are gonna go over how much I spent to own this car. First and foremost, we gotta get a cold start of it. Uh, cold start's kind of weird. Sometimes it'll pop, sometimes it doesn't. This is all still bone stock. And this is the side of the valve. So let's get a cold start, see if it pops a little bit. All right, that was pretty anticlimactic. Cold start really isn't that good most of the time, which is kind of unfortunate. I feel like it needs to warm up before it does that. So when you hit sport mode, it's supposed to open and close the valve. So barely changes anything. But guys, this is day three. I got 175 miles on the clock already. I've driven 164 and a half miles already. So I know there's a lot of haters on this car already. It's kind of a 50-50 mix. Some people love it, some people hate it. If you have not driven this car, you do not have an opinion because if you have not driven 170 miles on this thing, you really don't understand how nice this thing is. It is refined, it's fun, it's really, really fast. A lot of people still comment and say it's a slow car. Uh, we've already done a race video against a V8 car with over 400 horsepower and this thing walked it. That will be going up a little bit later, but these things are fast. Even just a basic tune and a downpipe, these are over 500 at the wheels. And coming from a person who's been daily driving a Nissan GTR with 600 wheel horsepower, this is a fast car. But I am just loving every minute of the Supra. It really is just a car that ticks every box for me. I think it just has so much to offer and just a really good balance of a good sports car and a good all around car. But we're gonna get to a tunnel real quick, put it into sport mode now that everything is about warmed up. Hear the exhaust a little bit and then go over how much I've spent. Because some people have been paying a lot over sticker. So comment down below right now, do you think I paid $20,000 over sticker or even $10,000 over sticker? Or did I double it and spend $100,000 dollars on this car comment down below right now and then after the tunnel we will go over all that information all right coming up to the tunnel windows down sport mode manual mode I love the pops around 3,000 <laughs> all right let's see what it sounds like <laughs> oh my gosh it's like three to 4,000 RPM, it just pops so much. That sounded so awesome underneath the tunnel. Oh my gosh, I really love it. I really do love it, I'm not just saying that. And it seems like everybody who does own these, you know, all the other YouTubers with them, they say the same thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this car is the coolest thing ever. All right, here we go. Alright, one more and then we will talk about the price because that is a little too addicting to not keep doing. <laughs> nice little touch. Alright, one thing I love the door handles, they kind of remind me of the Lamborghini Huracan. But oh my gosh, I definitely cannot get enough of the Supra. Go around the other side. One thing kind of weird with it, given the rear wheels are so close to where the driver is, when you hear rocks hitting it, it sounds like there's something in the door loose, which is kind of weird. But anyway, let's go over some pricing. I have my window sticker, my bill of sale, and then a VIN number and window sticker from a car that we almost kind of sort of got. So first and foremost, let's take a look at my window sticker. My car, the total MSRP is $56,130. So base price is about $54,000, and then we have a $1,200 driver's assistance package and that is the only option. My car effectively is a fully loaded car being a premium with driver's assistance. So there's really only two cars you can get and technically two options. The premiums come standard with the JBL and navigation and everything like that. But that is the actual car. So now let's get into the real stuff. Did I pay over sticker for it? So here is a different VIN number than my car. This is one that we had first looked at just to get some pricing. This car, the actual MSRP, 
was $57,769. This car had a few options that I did not want on my window sticker. We have a $200 option of cargo mats. We have $73 phone thing, and then $700 for this Toyota Platinum Guard thing. This is just a complete waste of money in my opinion. This car has staggered tires, so obviously I can't rotate them. There's no sense of doing that. Uh, it comes with two oil changes at any Toyota dealership. A brand new Toyota already comes with that, so I don't really need four free oil changes. I'm gonna do it myself anyway. Uh, it also has roadside assistance and then an exterior and interior sealant. Um, that stuff is a gimmick. I have a lot of friends at new car dealers. It's not even a ceramic coating. It's like some wax spray they spray on that's like $10. So that's just a complete waste of $700. And a really big shout out to the guys at Flow Toyota. I told them I didn't want any of that stuff. So when they found this car, they didn't put any of those dealer things on it. So I simply bought the car with the one package. But this car would have been about $1,000 more than the MSRP on my car. So with that said, we'll take a look at my actual bill of sale. So MSRP was $56,130 as it states on the window sticker. And my selling price was the exact same. So I did not pay a penny over MSRP. You would have to be kind of stupid to do that. However, I can kind of see why some people might. I did do a quick look on Auto Trader this morning and Supras seem to be listed for the mid $60,000 range up to about 70 grand. And the reason is they are not sitting on dealer lots. This car took me two months to get. This was the only white one that we could even find. Only white one that was not sold or pre-sold. It was in the middle of the ocean still in transport from Germany. So there is a wait to get one that you want. There's a few new ones listed for MSRP, but it seems like some used ones are being listed for about 10, 15 grand over that. So if you do want to pay sticker, just go to the dealership and they'll order you one. It's going to take a few months to get. But then if we look at it, we also have our highway tax, which was $1,700. The dealer dock fee was $650. And then $90 for license registration fee. I think that also includes, I had to get my license renewed to have my new address on it. But so that all means with dock, taxes, registration, I paid $58,571 out the door for this car. Now for me, I didn't want to spend a penny over $60,000 out the door. That was my budget for the car. For me, I really wanted the car since day one when I first heard about it because it looks so good and it's so much fun to drive. But for me, I just did not want to spend over 60. That was what I valued this car. I didn't value spending more than that on the car. And given that this car came down to 58.5, that was actually a lot cheaper than I was expecting because I was still going off of what this other premium was gonna be and this car was already $1,000 more. So my car would have been 59.5, which would have put me 500 bucks under what I was willing to spend on the car. But because I didn't get these stupid dealer accessories for $1,000, it made this a little bit cheaper than I was expecting. So that's the total price I paid for the brand new Supra. I think for brand new, you know, 58.5 out the door, I can't complain with that, I'm happy with it. I'd love to hear what you guys paid for the car. As far as I know, most people are paying sticker. I don't really think a lot of people are paying over sticker for these cars. I think, I know a lot of dealerships are listing them for way over like the ones I mentioned, um, but I just think you'd have to be kind of stupid to spend, you know, eighty, ninety thousand $90,000 on one of these. Not to say it's a bad car, but Oh my gosh, for under 60 grand, I think that is a really, really hard car to beat. So I'd love to hear some of your guys' opinion. What do you think this car is really worth? As far as I can tell, I feel like a lot of people are agreeing it's a car well worth like forty to $50,000. So I don't think on the used market, as these things do depreciate in the next year, I don't really see them dropping too low. I don't think it'll lose you know, $20,000 in a year. Because in all honesty, I think what makes a car really good to drive and actually hold some values is the fact that it is a good car to drive. I think quality should be pretty good because Toyota rebuilt this engine. So I don't think it's gonna have the same issues with BMWs with leaking oil and leaking coolant. So as far as I know, Toyota fixed those issues. So this should be a good engine. But the driving dynamics, the looks of it, I think this is my favorite angle of it. That is just so beautiful. I love like the big curves and the wheel arches. Just flows right to the spoiler. But I don't see this car crashing in value. I think a lot of other people can agree with that. But it is definitely really fun to drive. Really, really good looking. Yeah, I cannot get enough of this car. I really cannot. I am, I'm still blown away that I have it. I just love it already. But that's the pricing. Now on top of pricing, I financed the majority of the car. I put down $15,000 and the rest is financed. 
A lot of people do comment asking why I would finance it or why not just pay cash. In all honesty, in today's market, about 95% of people are financing cars. People really don't pay cash for cars anymore. And I worked at a car dealership for three years and it was very, very rare someone to actually come in and pay cash. And for me, I can have money sitting in the bank actually earning a higher interest rate than what I'm paying on the car. So it actually is a waste of money if I were to pay cash. Why would I tie up you know, almost $60,000 into a car? when I can't use that money at all. I couldn't use any of that money. I would have to sell the car to get the money out of it if I needed to use the money for something. So for me, financing works very well. Uh, on top of that, this is a business for me. This car earns me money on YouTube. So to tie up the money when this is earning me money anyway, it just doesn't make sense. And actually I realized it is really too dark in here to be filming inside, so let's cut back out. But on top of that, to finance this and the GTR together, I'm able to have these two cars. If I paid cash, I could only have one of them. And for me, you know, enjoying life, you know, enjoying what you can do in life is definitely well worth having two loans on two really awesome cars because for me, I love cars, I love owning cars, and to have a Supra and a GTR in the garage makes me very happy. Not to say money buys happiness, because it doesn't. Uh, these are just material items. They don't mean much at the end of the day, but they make life a lot more fun and Honestly, life's too short not to enjoy it responsibly. I am very responsible with how I'm purchasing these cars and how I'm able to afford them and all that stuff. So to finance them, it's not a stretch, low interest rate, you know, working to build really good credit to make it very simple to do. But very well worth it in my opinion. I'll only be paying a couple thousand dollars in interest over the uh, 72 month loan that I took out on this car. So for me, that is very well worth having this car right now than paying cash for it in like three years from now. But Oh my gosh, I still can't get over it. Now real quick while we're at the back of the car, we're gonna do a rev under the tunnel in just a second. Should I take off the GR badge? I did a poll on Instagram yesterday and it seems to be a 50-50 split. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I really, really love how the Toyota badge and the Supra are right in the center. So I don't know if I want the GR badge. If I do remove it, however, I'm thinking to put it on the silver strut brace right there, either oriented this way or flipped around to be red the other way. If not, I'm thinking about putting it on the dash right here. So comment down below on top of everything else, should I remove the GR badge from the back, put it on the interior there, or put it on the bar there? That was a much better cold start. It sounds like the cold start actually isn't as good as a warm start in the car. So now we are just in sport mode. We're gonna rev it under the tunnel. All right, so we are gonna go into neutral now. Put the camera outside a little bit. Oh my gosh, this car. <laughs> I cannot get enough of it already. gosh I love this car I cannot say that enough I seriously love it it sounds so good I actually broke traction a little bit in the tunnel right there now right now it's doing the auto start stop thing so I guess I just put it in drive again oh. huh I don't know still getting used to some of the technology in this thing it is so different than any car I've had okay maybe I actually shut it off never mind <laughs> Yeah, it is definitely getting some used to with all this technology, but oh my gosh. <laughs> very, very, very well worth the purchase price of this thing. I don't think I would spend anything over sticker just because you're gonna lose that all day long, but I could probably sell this for like 60 grand right now if I really wanted to, because I'm sure there's people out there who are trying to get one. And it is kind of a car you have to order to get. They're just not sitting on lots. But I think that's about gonna wrap up today's video. I wanted to go over how much I spent on the car um, if you are looking for a Toyota Supra, go to your dealership and just have them find you a car. Don't pay over sticker, you'll regret it. It's not some collector's item to where it's gonna be worth you know, $30,000 more than sticker in a year from now or anything like that. But anyways, that is everything for pricing. Just having some fun in the Supra this morning. Oh man, I really, really love the car. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give it a huge thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next video.